Hey my people, how we doing? What's been going on? How's life? If you anything like me, listen, you've been going through it. <laughs> but only in the best way possible. And honestly, you've been going through it because you've been getting through it. You got to go through it to get through it. So baby, go through it. <laughs> right now, we're going through a season of just allowing ourselves to accept every piece and every part of ourselves. One thing that gets Virgo so in that control energy is because they want to control themselves to be perfect. Because they be jealous and they compare themselves to a lot of people because they feel like everybody has something that they don't have in reality. Everything, every good quality that you see in somebody else you have in yourself that's one of the reasons you can point it out so well because you have it within yourself you look up to people who you are a reflection of who you feel like you want to be like so obviously you have it within you either you haven't grown it within you or you just haven't given it enough attention for it to be the dominant trait within your life like love that's something that you have to consistently go after. That's something that you have to consistently look for. That's something that you have to consistently be around. You can't expect yourself to know love when all you've been taught was hate. And you lived in a frequency of hate. So, of course, when you go into a frequency of love, it's going to be so confusing. Because, excuse me, I don't know what that is. I'm still learning how to be soft. I'm still learning how to be gentle. I'm still learning how to be slow. I'm still learning how to be accepting and not be so blameful. Because that's what I've been taught, was to blame me. To blame the world, to blame stuff, but never take it upon my own hands to understand that I have all of the control as long as I give myself a certain amount of grace and compassion for the things I just didn't know. But when I know it, am I still going to live in the unawareness of it? Or am I going to live in the awareness of I know what to do, so let me go back into doing what I know is best for me. You know, these are the time periods where we got to stop acting like we don't know the answers. We don't know the way. We don't know who we are. We got to stop acting like God is not with us when God is always with us. We're the ones stopping our own work because he tells us what to do, but it's not fun all the time. See, a lot of y'all problems is you want to be stimulated all the time and you don't want to sit in unstimulation. Meaning, you don't want to sit by yourself in silence. You got to be okay with silence. You got to be okay with nothing going on. You got to be okay with not talking to everybody 24-7 because everybody don't need to know who you is and need to be in your business. This is the time to be visible but not accessible. And if I am accessible, it's a price behind it. It's a fee to talk to me. It is what it is. This this the type of season that you're going to have to really understand your value. You're going to have to really understand your worth. That's why I keep telling y'all, be single until you know your value. And when you know it, charge it. Double it. Triple it, actually. Quadruple that bitch if you can. Stop acting like you're less than when in reality you just don't know who you are. You just don't know what to charge yourself yet or what to charge from other people because you haven't seen the benefit of you. That's why I always say give yourself a break to be single. Give yourself a break to be single. This is not the time to be in a relationship with people. This is not the time to always try to save people. This is the time where if people are meant to be in your atmosphere, they'll just work with you. There's not going to be any arguments. There's not going to be any conflict. There's not going to be any confusion. It, it's like something that just flows. You can, Your heart feels that connection. Your heart feels that connection. Your heart feels the connection. You just know. And remember, it's not that they're an enemy of you. It's just that y'all are not compatible. So give people who are not going to actually feed into you but pouring off of you like give them some space you hear the barking prioritize you right now prioritize who you are and what you need in your space and in your life stop allowing yourself to get so tricked up by oh my god the longevity of that person the attachment you have with the ideal of who they who you want them to be but not who they actually are Like, you ever looked at somebody and been like, damn, like, she's such a good fucking person, but she got a fucked up ass friend. I wonder why she got a fucked up ass friend. Because she just like that friend. You have fucked up people around your life because you just like them. In certain ways. Maybe not in every way to other people, but definitely to yourself. And a person that can't even love themselves enough to get out of situations that they know is hurting them and starving them of their existence. Why would I want to be around you? You don't even know how to choose you. No. <laughs> You're obsessed. 
a lot of people are obsessed with people because they don't want to be obsessed with themselves obsession isn't bad if it's with yourself i'm conceited and obsessed with myself i love myself i look i look at myself 24 7 in the mirror i'll just cut the lights off just to hear me talk just to see me because i'm obsessed with myself <laughs> why the fuck would i need anybody else's voice in my head when i'm obsessed enough with my own voice Duh. and when i want to go out i'll go out but even then i'm going out by myself because i love to be with myself and i love to hang with myself and be in love with myself because myself be giving me the energy and, and, and it just be giving me the value the attention and the time that i need don't get me wrong i have people in my life to do the same thing but that comes from the obsession i have with myself because they see the way that i reflect and how I, how much i respect myself <laughs> You ever heard of that saying of like people are gonna people are gonna treat you as you treat yourself? People see that I love myself. People see that I have God within myself. People see the wisdom in me, because I see all of that within me, and people move accordingly. You know? People move accordingly. <laughs> everything is going good. Everything is going great. Everything is just as it's supposed to be. You got to remember how to make your heart feel good again by empowering yourself into realizing that this is your best time period. You're not in any conflict. Put the conflict down. Stop worrying about shit because the more that you worry, the more God is going to bring you things to worry over. It's about your frequency. This is a frequency game right now. What you know what OG say? This is chess, not checkers. It's time to get serious. <laughs> it's time to get serious we gotta stop thinking that something is after us because now something will be after us we gotta stop thinking that nothing is gonna work in our favor because then nothing is gonna work in our favor because the biggest tool you have in your belt is your belief system I feel like I just saw a butterfly a black one at that so that means that you're transitioning your protection you're transitioning the way you think in your, your perspective because your perspective is your protection. That's part of your protection. Some of you are so afraid of somebody coming to get you that you're allowing yourself to even disrespect the fact that God is protecting you to the point that nobody can even touch you. They couldn't even come within 50 feet of you. You're like a good luck charm. Niggas try to even think bad about you. They start stubbing their motherfucking toe and they know to stay in their place. What's wrong with you? <laughs> we gotta understand right now, God is literally just asking us to have faith in ourselves. God is literally asking us, say a prayer for me. By some people that be me. Keep me from that what? I'm telling you, I'm just. You know what's crazy? I've been wearing this agate, and it's been like really like irritating my head. Like it's been ir irritating my head. Like <laughs> when I say irritating my head, irritating my head. But it's been irritating right here. It's like, it's opening up my third eye so I could finally realize what I've been going through. Because I had to slow down and I had to sit down and I had to just be in silence. I couldn't talk to nobody. I couldn't be around anybody because I didn't have nothing nice to say. And when you don't have nothing nice to say, you don't need to say anything at all because your, your perspective, your words, your thoughts matter. So until you can take yourself out of that dark time, sometimes you're gonna have to sit down and just look at yourself until your heart is compassionate and open enough for you to have that conversation with yourself you know i always tell people you know be calm but be calm. what is it be open enough what what, what what do i usually i usually always say like be open enough to be calm and be calm enough to be open be calm enough to be open and be open enough to be calm that's what i say that's what i say Be calm enough to be open and open enough to be kind. That's exactly what I used to tell people. Because this is the time period for you to be open to the fact of everything is going to go the way that you need it to. 
everything is going to work out in your favor everything is working out in the favor you're working out in your favor everything is going as planned everything is going on schedule you have to have the faith enough to know that everything is going the way that you need it to you have to look at yourself in the mirror and you have to make your heart understand that everything is okay so when will you look at yourself and understand that everything is okay everything is going as planned everything is working out everything is coming together in your favor you just have to slow down and understand understand everything is going good for you because you're working for you you're loving you i see if you wasn't doing anything but you're taking steps and even trying to intentionalize what you're doing with yourself before you take the next step and that's a step within itself Y'all got to understand 1044, as I say, just because you're in silence and just because nobody can see what you're doing doesn't mean you shouldn't celebrate what you're doing. Somebody else might not see why this is a big deal for you, for you to just rest, because usually you don't rest. You always overwork yourself and you're always choosing obligation and desperation over your actual love for yourself. And you're actually recharging station for yourself because you know what to do to make sure that your body is fully healthy enough for it to manifest everything that you really want. I declare, declare the kind of day that you need. You need a certain type of sleep. You need a certain type of fruit. You need a certain type of food. And you're staying consistent and making sure that you eat, making sure that you drink, making sure that you talk to yourself, making sure that you know how you function and you make sure that you are functioning well. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is like, we, we got to start understanding how we are holding ourselves back because we're not taking a moment to really actually celebrate. Every day you should squeeze in an hour of celebration to yourself and your soul. Every day you should squeeze in time to celebrate your journey and celebrate your goals. Every day you should squeeze in time to be happy for what you have brought yourself out of and what you're bringing yourself into. Every day should be a moment of you getting yourself together and you understanding just why you are not a failure but a success. Because you're living by your own laws and you're creating your own rules and you're truly free because you are taking control of your own self. You're putting intention and definition of what you see life to be because that's what a reality creator is. A reality creator. <laughs> that's what an author does. They create their own reality. They create their own systems. They create their own rules inside of that book that you're reading. They set the setting, the theme, the tone of the book. The writer is taking you through their eyes of what they see and what they're writing about and talking about. So imagine that with your own life. You gotta understand that with your own life. And it's an ant, that's crazy. That is an ant and an ant. I feel like either it's a gnat or a an, gnat. An and if it's an ant, then that's persistent. A gnat, I don't know what gnat is. is. The video's not gonna be too long. <laughs> but I did wanna come on here because just saying, I see it every Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday. It's time to get back up, y'all. It's time to be more consistent if you haven't seen. It's like God has given us enough time to really sit with ourselves and our soul and understand what we needed to do. That's what September, October, that's really what August, September, October, and November, the first two weeks of November was about. It was about sitting down and actually catching a plan for yourself. So the next of September, this is your rebirth because the first two weeks should have been your death. Because two is the number of what? Two is the number of what? Two velo. <laughs> relationships. Relationships with self and relationships outside of yourself. But you can only have a relationship outside of yourself when you have a relationship with yourself. So that means that for the first two weeks, it was a death. It, it, it was you deading the parts of you that didn't want to leave. It was you actually sitting with yourself and seeing, okay, what plan is going to be effective for the person I am today and not the person of who I was? Because you're not forcing yourself to do anything. This is not a time of forcing yourself to do anything. This is a time to actually just ask yourself, what is going to make my life easier so I can stay in connection with God more? You got to understand you. And the only way you're going to understand yourself is as you sit down and have those tough conversations that you don't want. 
And when I say discipline, this comes with one thing that she calls always says is obedience is better than sacrifice. And when she says obedience is better than sacrifice, because sacrifice, they, they say that you're sacrificing something of what you need for what you what you want for what you need. No, 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 what you need so you can get what you want. You know how like society and famous people perspective of sacrifice is basically saying like listen if you really want to do something you really want to make that good cash and you want to make that good da -da -da -da, then you got to leave your character behind but you're gonna have the money you're gonna have the stability you're gonna have the longevity that you need but a piece of your soul has to be taken in order for you to actually thrive in this industry you know how society really like pushes that very very much very much yeah but that's not what we're working with we're working with your definition of how you're supposed to thrive and we're working with your definition of how you're supposed to succeed so basically you're supposed to say now that you're thriving because you're loving yourself because you're seeing yourself because you're happy with yourself but society's perspective is basically okay well you can only be happy with yourself when you work yourself to the bone to actually make your money or when you actually get out of your character and start like you know robbing killing out all of this okay for some money so you can be stable you know dog eat dog world but your perspective is basically as long as i go to sleep that night i'm always going to be in my money bag so now you're going to sleep more often now you're getting more rest and it's like the money is starting to flow in but society says this thing but you say this thing so which one are you going to start to believe if you believe in the sleep the money will come but if you believe in society then that's the way that you're gonna have to work and i'm saying this because it's like it's two parts of ourselves right now and since the first two weeks was about the death we were dating this society's perspective of what we thought life should be like and in the last two to three weeks this is us actually being in that rebirth and reaping the reward of how we talk to ourselves so if you sat down and really just sit with yourself to just talk to yourself you would have got a lot of things done but it was a time where you couldn't be seen by people you have to be seen by your own soul you have to be seen by your own soul and that that was the test was you going to keep going out and keep trying to be around people and run away from your problems and run away from yourself? Or were you going to have a moment to really sit with yourself, to really talk yourself through this pain that you're going through? Or was you just trying to manage your pain and keep it pushing because you're still living in society's perspective that we don't have the luxury to heal? If y'all was, if you've been following me, then you know I told you about this neighbor that I used to have. And I had to stop being friends with her because... I just knew in the end we wasn't gonna heal. We we wasn't gonna heal. This wasn't gonna be a good thing. This wasn't gonna be a good relationship. So I had blocked her. And then the next time I seen her, I had told her, hey, like I had blocked you because of this, 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 and this. You know, I wanted to stand on my word and I wanted to stand on the fact of, listen, girl, I did this so we can be clear that I really don't fuck with you. <laughs> Not in a way like that, but just like, just so we can be clear. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the reasons I did that was because, and I told her this, like, one of the reasons that I did this was just because, like, I feel like healing is something of a lifestyle for me, you know, and I feel like this is something we're going to talk about on and off, but this is something where it's, like, really consistent for me, and I'm like, you're really fun, you're very beautiful, but I... I, I take healing serious and I can see it's not going to be as serious as you need to be in your life you know what I'm saying basically having that conversation with her and then she was like oh well I wish we could get this and I didn't want you didn't have to block me and that's okay but you're right girl because like it's a lot I got a lot going on and healing takes takes a lot and even with her saying that I was just like yeah I gotta go but she's right because healing is a lot but i'd rather heal myself and keep working with god than to just be going around the bush and running away and i meet a lot of feminine energies that like to run away like i meet a lot of feminine energies that like to run away from their pain they like to run away from what they're going through they like to run away from what what's going on within you know even for myself at times so that's why a lot of times if you see me rubbing myself or if you see me like 
just breathing and slowing down sometimes it's because sometimes i get overreactive and i get so much energy throughout the day of like fear of doubt but also of having to move on with my faith my my even having to move in fear but still having to just move you know what i'm saying i think i just read this youtube post that said you have to sprint even if the distance is unknown You have to sprint, even if the distance is unknown. Something like that. <laughs> Child, it's been 20 minutes and I feel like I just channeled all of that. I was going off a straight channel and I thank God. <laughs> I thank God because he was in here. Mm -mm. Okay, I think I'm putting it on. <laughs> I kind of want to pull my cards, so... Hold on. I'm going to pull my cards. I'll be back. I'll be back. I might send them back outside, but I just wanted them to be in for a little bit. Okay. Aww. Thank you, love, for everything that you keep doing. That prep was kind of long, child. I need to get some um, watermelon and drink some. And I feel like that's that's the energy, keeping yourself hydrated. Because I know one thing, I've been really slacking and drinking my water and really slacking. And, and making sure that like I eat breakfast, making sure that I have dinner, making sure that I have food. Like I've been really slacking and trying to take care of me physically because mentally and emotionally I've been getting my stuff together because the physical will follow as I get the mental and emotional like figured out. So it's like really take care of yourself. But I have a uh, align with your purpose statement. I trust my inner wisdom and intuition. And then I have people are doing more with less. 
this is what Tony Gaskins told me. Well, this is what Tony Gaskins taught me. I haven't had a session with that man, but the day I have a session with that man, the day I have a session with that man, oh my God, I'll be so happy. And maybe that's another in like an energy. Save up so you can actually talk to your role model. Save up so you can actually start investing in the people that you see are doing what you want to do. Save up so you can actually get into the frequency of being a freedom fighter, <laughs> being more of yourself. Save up so you can actually invest in what you want to do and invest in what you think will make you successful, will make you feel happy, will make you feel loved day in and day out for spirit to truly connect with you. Uh, excuse me. You got to start encouraging yourself more. You got to start encouraging yourself more. You can't keep being in this energy of where you think that as soon as you start something, it's always going to automatically fail because you're a failure. If you keep looking at yourself like a failure, if you keep looking at yourself like you're a damsel in distress and you have to be saved by somebody, then of course your life is going to fail. Of course everything is going to go to shit because you think somebody is supposed to come in and save you when in reality you save yourself. You're the somebody you've been looking for. You're the lover you've been wanting. You're the friend you've been needing. You're the mother and the father. Their voices in their head. You, you are that. You are that. This is align with my purpose statement. Align with, this is align with your purpose, yeah. Align with your purpose statement. I shine my light and brightness to the world. I fully love and embrace who I am, even as I continue to grow. That was a heart chakra, because this is the time to open up your heart. You gotta learn how to open up your heart and be in the receiving mode of advice, of love, of compassion, of guidance. You gotta learn how to be open to this new time period of yourself and this new time period of your spirit. This is a time period where you gotta learn that everything is gonna be okay as you go for yourself, as you love yourself, as you see yourself, as you be one with yourself. No one ever gonna do it for you quite like you. That's why it's hard to put my faith in anyone else so I don't put my faith in nobody else. You put your faith in yourself. You put your faith in God. You don't put your faith in people. You put your faith in God. And if the person you're going to put your faith in, it's going to have to be you. It's going to have to be you. That was Flashback by Miguel and Diedrich. No, I said Diedrich. Dante Haycock. It's time. It's time you stop playing with yourself and your passions and your gifts. You know your gifts. Stop acting like you don't know your gifts. You already said what it was. Because if you don't know your gifts, then you're the author of your gifts. So basically, if you say that the most powerful thing on your body is your tongue, then start practicing with tongue, with tongue magic. If you say the most powerful thing is your visions that you have, start meditating so you can receive more visions. If you say your dreams are powerful, start noting down and jotting down your dreams every time you wake up. Or start going to sleep more so you can keep going to your dream state. Because obviously, God is trying to tell you something. Start following through with what God is telling you to do. <laughs> That's the problem. You don't want to listen to God. You don't want to be one of God. You don't want to really talk to him, get to know him, get to understand him. You want somebody to just spoon feed you. You want to be a baby. You're not a baby no more. It keeps reminding me of Avatar. When, um, what was her name? What was her name? I know it was Jake, but what was Jake's wife's name? With the girl, the wife, we gonna say Jake's wife. <laughs> when she was like, you, you're like a baby, a newborn baby. And she was always like hissing at him, like irritated at him. It's just like, ugh. this is the type of energy I'm getting. I don't know who ancestor that is. <laughs> uh, if it's mine, but baby, that spirit is like, ugh. Y'all just, I'm sick of y'all. Stop acting like you don't know the answer. Stop acting like you don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know, baby. But that's, 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 that's the energy I'm getting. It's like Jake Sully's wife off of Avatar. That's the energy when she first met Jake and she just hated that nigga. Just was like, ugh. But she still saved him. Because she still had a good heart. And she knew.
I, I don't know. She just knew. You you know. It might irritate you what you're doing. And it might irritate you on the new beginning that you have to take. And the new steps that you have to take. But at the end of the day, you know it's good for you. So learn how to love it. Feel the pain. Don't resist your mistakes. Feel the pain. Don't resist your mistakes. I'm sorry. Y'all can't see. I've been trying to find a good lighting spot for everything. And a solar plex one. I can accomplish credible things. I can accomplish incredible things. I can accomplish incredible things. Okay. We'll get some tarot. Look at these. Oh, my babies. I know they miss their people. It's the Ten of Cups, you guys. Be for real. You have the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You have the emotional fulfillment at the bottom of the deck. When you stand up and be more confident in your emotions and confident in the thing, in doing the things that make you happy and doing the things that makes you feel loved and doing the things that makes you feel seen and makes you feel valued and makes you feel heard, you're going to continue to have happiness and blessings flow into your life. You got to understand, like, right now, this is the time to move towards those tower moments. These are the times where you're moving towards the parts of yourself that it's like, okay, you, you can do this. You can do this. <laughs> this is the time where you're breaking down. Because the tower moment isn't about this. This isn't the tower moment. This is you being happy to go towards a tower moment. Because you're happy to end those cycles within yourself. This is the magician, but we got to look at it. We got the Eight of Cups in reverse. The Eight of Cups is when you need to pack up and leave. The Eight of Cups is when you're leaving a situation, where you're when you're trying to begin again, because that number eight is new beginnings and it's growth and it's money. So you're, you're building something. This is a masculine number. This is a masculine card. It's basically saying that you building, right now you're going towards a tower of understanding that you don't need to build anything. You're taking a tower moment with yourself to actually rest and go through your burdens and go through your pain. This is you actually taking a moment to go through a journey of your soul and understand, okay, what do I need right now? What do I need? What do I want? What do I see life as? Is this going the way that I need it to? Or do I need to pack up my bags and look for somebody else? You're trying to actually categorize everybody in my life. Okay, is this an associate? Is this family? Is this business? Or is this person? This is you actually trying to understand how to intentionalize your life at this time. One of the reasons why you have the chariot and you're going towards the tower because you're literally killing this part of yourself of where you're just sitting and being in stillness. Because you have your emotional fulfillment now. You have your emotions and your emotions are the most powerful thing on you. So all you have to do is go, go towards this emperor energy, which is confidence, which is movement, which is masculine, which is powerful, which is making your presence known. I'm going to keep stating my opinion until y'all don't want to hear my opinion no more and I'm going to still do it. It's a certain type of level of energy. So you know what that means? When you go in towards this child moment, you're going towards being in stillness. Because for you to sit in your burdens and for you not to walk away, that means you're in the in the confusion stage. You're in the ether stage, so it's still being the cloud within your mind, and it's not being an upload. But now, you're going towards the upload. You're uploading yourself in this new system with inside of you. So if you're, you, you, you've been sitting with understanding and developing love, now this next stage of your life is actually standing true and confident in your love for yourself. For yourself. That's why the world is in reverse. Because you're destroying the world of completion. Not completion. Complacency. Stagnant. Because this stagnant energy was never bad. It was just the fact that it was needed for you to develop. Develop. Develop your four of pentacles. Let me see.
I love listening to this song. Like when I listen to it, I used to just like be at the park and I used to just walk around the park and like take myself on a little date. And uh, I just love it. Cause Alex Isley, every time I listen to her music, she just gives me freedom. She gives me hope. She gives me faith. She gives me love, like true definition of a slow, honoring, understanding, and consistently growing love. Like, I don't know. That child right there. She, she got me. Who in heartbreak? Uh-uh. Who in heartbreak? Who in heartbreak? Cause right now, with you being in heartbreak, you you building you not building a loving foundation. You're actually building a sad one. You're in pain. I don't know if you're going against yourself to actually be with somebody, but baby, this ain't you got the three of swords. It's like you're making a choice whether if you should stay or you should go. You're trying to figure out let me let me let me do another card because this is three. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. You're choosing love. Okay. Because I was about to be like, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? But this card to me is like, you shouldn't even be in love right now. It's like you're trying to go towards this partner. That's one of the reasons why this dear spirit is right there. Because this is a three of swords. And then you have the ace of swords. And then you have literally the two of swords. To me, it, it seems like you're making a decision of whether you should be in love or you should be in, in heartbreak. It's like you want to choose love, but your main energy is misery. That's why you got the rack. I don't know. It's like you're trying to move with a broken heart. That's what it is. You're trying to move with a broken heart. And out of you moving with a broken heart, that means you're not moving in the right frequency. And, and since you're not moving in the right frequency, you're moving out of either obligation or desperation. Either way, that's not that's not something good. Let me see. Let me put them, them down. Because those are significant. We're going to see. What's going on, Spirit? Why the four of cups? Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just. Y'all got the Ten of Pentacles. Fulfillment abundance. The Ten of Pentacles signifies material and spiritual abundance in nearly every area of your life. The number 10 usually indicates completion, and in this case, the journey was well worth it. So be generous, not only with your money, but also with your wisdom. Provide guidance to those who struggle. You will be rewarded tenfold. Oh, shit. I was significant. I had to read that. So basically the story is you were moving, you were broken, you were broken and out of your brokenness, you were building a new mindset. You were trying to understand power. You were trying to understand your soul. You were trying to understand your happiness. You were trying to gain clarity within your own intuition. You were trying to cleanse yourself. You were at war with yourself. You were battling. That's the, that's an eclipse. You were having eclipses within yourself. You were fighting. But you were fighting with your love versus your pain. You had to love yourself back into submission. And you successfully did that. You were moving with a broken heart. That's why you moved with a broken heart. But you never moved with a broken soul. My heart might have been broken. But my soul was never broken. And I followed my soul. My soul's purpose, my soul's passion. And that's basically what these cards are saying. You had a broken heart. 
and you were learning how to build a new mindset with a broken heart and instead of sitting and just being broken you decided to go within that brokenness to find out your true love for self that's one of the reasons why you had the love and then you had this and then you had this because you kept going from understanding love to that pain and that heartbreak that triggered you to be out of love so you can go back into that love to go back into that duality of that negativity and that vulnerability but then right back to that love then there we go because three's balance i hope you're seeing it you know how it can't be like we got a cycle we got a cycle yeah we got cycles going on <laughs> okay we got cycles going on this one is the reasons why you had love okay then you had darkness your vulnerability what triggered you to get out of that love what triggered you to not stand firm on that love okay boom then we're back in the loving frequency because we actually have a safe place to go to develop our love and to be destructive okay now boom we're back in that loving frequency we're back in that happiness frequency we're back in that good time energy but then boom we got that polarity that we just let go. Now we got to deal with it. Why does it trigger me? You hear them snoring, child? I don't even know what snoring means. <laughs> they is out like a light. <laughs> but yeah, y'all got to understand that. Okay. I think that's the only ones that I'm gonna do for tonight. Oh, oh, sorry, y'all. Um. Okay. I like how the light is, <laughs> even though it's too fucking much. It's too fucking much. I mean, if I scoop back soon, then I could go. But I ain't got no microphone yet. Y'all ordered the TikTok microphone, and I'm like, didn't y'all say it's supposed to be here two to three days? Motherfuckers should be here. And I, it feel like because I'm anticipating it too much. And then I got new tarot cards. Like, I can't wait. Like, <sighs> I'm getting everything together, y'all. I'm getting everything together. Everything, everything together. Uh, I can't wait because I just know, like, <laughs> this next elevation of my life is going to be the best elevation of my life. And it's something that I've been asking for for a minute. And it's like, you know how Keith Lee be like, God is good? God is good. God is good. And y'all need to start being like very understanding of how good God is. He will always come through for you. Y'all angry. And you know what's so crazy? I see like so many people getting so angry about the love and truth that God is trying to give you. Because you can't sit with it. It's like you're mad that it's so easy. And so that's why you always have these hard ass difficult challenges because anytime something comes easy to you, you be upset. You be upset. Let me see. You heard the barking? So again, it's about your reaction. It's about your reaction to things also. Your reaction, how are you reacting? Because one thing that keeps coming through my head is a wild wealthy shaman quote. And he said, why would I, <clears throat> for me to fear is for me to not honor the very thing protecting me. So for you to fear your situation, for you to get triggered by your anger, by your sadness, by your misery, for you to stay in that frequency. It's one thing to sit in it and actually understand where this come from and why am I getting triggered and then transmit that energy back into yourself. But it's another thing to just stay in it the whole day. Like the whole day your day was run because of one person. And instead of just sitting there and trying to understand why it was so ruined, you just allowed yourself to be in ruins. Or you just wake up and you don't even put nothing, no intention into the air. You just wake up and already it's sad. How you wake up sad? How you wake up not ready for life? How you wake up not wanting to be in life? How you wake up for no motivation? You gotta make yourself motivated. What can you do to motivate yourself to get back up and know that life is good? No. Y'all are blowing me. But I am finna go. I did want to say, I, I made my beacon already. 
congratulate me, congratulate me because I made my beacon. So basically, I have my healing sessions. I have my um, Patreon up. Yes, y'all. I am more professional now. I am taking responsibility and I'm becoming a responsible adult because it took me months, okay? It took me months. It took me months. It took me months to get my shit together, but it's okay because now that I got it together, we on green, we on go, okay? So all you have to do is go to my bio or you can actually go down below in my description. You can finally book a 30 minute session for 75 and then you can book an hour session for $100 and then you can also book a 30 minute Reiki session for $50. We can do this, y'all. We can do this, y'all. We can do this. I am finally ready to be out there, y'all. And I can't wait to talk to even more of you beautiful souls. Okay. So, I also have, what is it, TikTok. I usually go live on TikTok Sunday, Mondays, and Wednesdays. I don't have a set time because I'm still trying to figure out my time. I'm still trying to figure out my rhythm. I just know that I want to show up more. So, if you go to my TikTok lives in a conversation Z, just like all of my socials are going to be in a conversation Z. What is Z at the end? In a conversation in a conversation Z okay at the end that's why I said Z <laughs> uh, that should be all of my handlers but yes every Sunday and Wednesdays and Mondays I'm gonna go live so the lives are usually 22 22 so if you want to come in and you want to get a little guidance of what God is trying to tell you or what your soul is trying to tell you all you have to do is go to my TikTok on um, Sundays Mondays and Wednesdays that's when I go live I at least try to do it once I try to get on there two times, but I really do be busy with trying to like connect more with God and be more in my own manifestation bag of just things that I see I deserve, you know? But at least one time, if not once, then twice. Sometimes I might pop like a donation based one, or sometimes I might just do 22 22 or maybe I'll do like $5 for like a car and pull or something like that. I do deals. <laughs> So if you want to know something, go there on Instagram. Just check out my Instagram, okay? Check out my poems that I'm putting up together. And my Patreon, check out my Patreon. I have two tiers now. The first tier is a Warrior Pit Stop. It's basically repetitive information on, okay, what can I say? Repetitive information on the energy of the collective. What you need to stay on top of, what you need to be doing, how you need to be moving. It's going to be from morning and night. It's basically going to be for the morning time of your ego, how you need to be boosting yourself up, how you need to be waking up, how you need to be empowering yourself. And the nighttime is about the fears that we're having, but the ones that we have to start overcoming and conquering. So the Warriors Pissed Off is basically affirmations. It's just straight videos. I might post like a blog a daily blog post and like daily i am statements on there but other than that that's it for that tier and then tier two is basically a discord link and with with that discord link it also comes with google google meets every once a week yeah Google Meets every once a week for Wednesday. We're gonna do that out of the month. And then also, I'm sorry, I don't mean to rub my eyes. I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to remember y'all. I'm talking a lot. <laughs> y'all ever just be doing it? I'm talking a lot. <laughs> okay, and so then we wanna go to the Google Meets, which is gonna be once a week. And with that one, you're also going to get a Discord link and you're also gonna get live poetry. So I wanna do more of just like coming on here randomly and reading y'all my live poetry or at least trying to give you some of my live poetry. Not my live poetry, but like at least do poetry incantations for you. So you can look back at my poetry and see if it fits with the energy that you're in so it can heal you and it can transmute your energy back into alchemizing your energy back into you know that good frequency and into that love and then we're gonna do some rituals because i would love to get on google meets and just like all of us journal together one day and we all have that journal plus we have a lighter and plus we have a backyard okay let's do a burn ritual or let's take a spiritual bath meaning let's like all pray over our spiritual bath you know we get on there before we go and then we call each other like the day after and see okay so what happened let's give us an update you know okay but anyway i just want to do more of that because the second tier is basically sisterhood healing and it's going to bring everything that tier one did but it's just going to bring a deeper level of intimacy for tier two 
because this Patreon is really only strictly for women. It's really for the women that needs more of a congregation, congregation of like single women in healing because I feel as though not enough single women are coming out and telling the story of like, it's okay to be single. It's okay to have your moment of fixing yourself, loving yourself, and just being around your sisters, just being around your girls until you know your, your value of you. And then you want to add a man to your life because a, ad is a, a man is an added benefit to any female, any feminine energy's life. I'm just sorry. <laughs> it just is, you know? But anyway, I'm going to go, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Bye.